How you doing? Good day, guys. This is your girl, Sage Wali, with another video. Um, this is going to be for metaphors. For all my science teachers, you will appreciate this. So let's go on and look at this. So I have three pots that are boiling, right? I have three pots that are boiling. So let me just go ahead and say that these are representative for three particular personalities. So what is boiling? That represents life. Okay, so we see this pot right here is boiling. When things heat up, when your life is going, when you're going through a lot of trials and tribulations, you experience things, okay? So this particular one right here, we have this liquid. So this is a liquid. For those science teachers, again, you appreciate that. Liquids, they have no absolute shape, but they do have a volume. They take the shape of its container. So this one is right here is going to be represented by a person who is a people pleaser or someone that does not know who they are. Okay. So this represents someone who is, does not know who they are. This coffee right here, it is for someone that says they know who they are. And then we have the hard boiled egg is that you have something that's inside you. I mean, the egg that you have something inside you, you know who you are but let's go ahead and look at this demonstration so when we're looking at this i'm going to pour this um this content in here you can see it doesn't have much it's just alcohol let's look at see how this happens so i pour this inside here okay i pour that in there all right so i'm going to turn off the heat now we have this hard boiled egg this person is encountering life let's turn that off now let's go ahead and take this pot right here so this pot we have the life that's going on i am going to put this content in here this is coffee a good heaping of coffee i'm going to put it in okay now now that i have this i'm gonna stir it up stir it up stir it up stir it up that is life stirring things up I'm going to turn this off, and we again, we have that liquid in there. I'm going to stir it up. Now, we see this right here, the hard bread egg. Now, let's look at this real quickly. This person who encountered life, they look the same. They went through a whole transformation or whatever. After they get out of whatever it is that they are going through, I'm going to take this out real quickly. And again, this was an A. It still looks the same, right? It still looks the same. Have it right here. But you would think that this person is the same. They look like it and whatever. But if you were to take it, you crack it up, you would see that it is no longer a yolk, but it has hardened, okay? So you can take that off for that. That represents someone who allow life to change them. They harden. They got sense, you know, cynical. They're saying that all men are dogs or all females, they want this. No. Let's go ahead and look at the content right over here with the liquid that didn't have really any identity. What do you see? This life has caused that person to just not even be the same you can't even see them they have lost themselves they may have suffered from depression or suffer from something but life got the best the better of them whereas when you look at this right here this coffee right here and you can't smell it but it has a beautiful aroma and this is right here this is what i'm smelling vanilla nut let's look how they allow they change their environment it may say look like it's uh, cloudy, but you are able to drink from it. You are able to have a beautiful aroma. You took life and you did not, uh, you took life by the horns and you did not allow life to change you. But you allow those lessons and those trials and tribulations to come out to something beautiful. Something that is aroma. You can put this in a coffee if you some people like their coffee dark, straight, and whatever. And you could put a taste of it, uh, some sugar inside there, and it will taste good. So now I'm asking you, 
When we're going through life, when you're good, when life is going up, who or what would you rather be? Would you rather be the hard boiled egg that changed? Would you be the coffee that allowed the aroma, beautiful aroma, attracts this? You, you know, you allow you, as they say, you took lemon and you made lemonade. Or would you rather be something like this hand sanitizer where life gobbled you up? So I just wanted to put that out there for you. Which one are you? I'll tell you which one I am. I'm the coffee.